All right, I'm going to show you how to get your patterns out of the beat thing virtual real quick. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, record vocals over them or uh, turn them into MP3s, load them on your iPod, do whatever you need to do. Uh, first thing, you need to make sure you are in pattern mode and you have a pattern loaded. Now push export over here and click on live and make sure that uh, live is on with the arrow keys up or down, on or off. Got it on. Uh, basically, once I hit record and then play, for as long as I let my pattern play, that's how long my export will be. And once we're finished, I'll save them. I'll show you where you need to go to get them. But we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, this also, uh, it'll record like my mutes and solos on my track, so I'll be using the uh, mute and solo features. Uh, check the other tutorials on how to do that. Real simple to do. But to uh, mute and unmute on Mac is command, and on PC it's control. So just push control and click on one of your uh, tracks or the pads. It'll mute and solo. So you can basically just design your own mix, you know, however you have your, uh, however you have your pattern laid out. Since, beats, since you can put all your drums on one track, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with this. So yeah, it's uh, you know you can make your intros, outros, choruses, verses. Just remember what tracks so you got everything laid out, laid out on. And also you can unmute everything by just hitting uh, mute over there. So if I've got a bunch of stuff muted and I want to drop everything in at the same time, just hit that. You can also solo as well. It records all that. So if I just wanted to just get that. Solo on a Mac is Option plus click on your track or pad, and on PC to solo it's Alt plus click on your track and pad at the same time. And it records all this too when we're uh, doing a live export. All that'll be in there. You can do the pitch shifting, pitch shift the whole track. You know, I could just bounce the whole thing out like this if I wanted to. Turn the bang on, off, oh, that's uh, kind of like compression, I think I got it set on, uh, I'm not even sure what this is called, sounds pretty tight though, but you know, just pretty much design your own, uh, design your own mix. Do whatever you need to do, and then uh, we can stop it, and it'll ask to save it. Uh, we'll just call this stack. Hit OK, and then I'm going to want to uh, go over here to my user data path folder, which if you don't know how to set that up, take a look at the other tutorial videos on there, show you how to do it real quick. I've got mine on my desktop. Double click on that, and go to the uh, samples folder and stack right there it's a wave file remember that so it is a wave file so you can load that into whatever you need to do iTunes you know make put it onto your iPod so real simple to do it's a lot of fun too